1972 and 3, I started a process of work in holography uh, towards an exhibition called Visual Alchemy. And this was also named after my studio. And part of the process involved experimenting with holograms in conjunction with sculptural objects. This is what I termed hybrid holography. You could see here that I hinged open the face to reveal a holographic face, hinged open the breast to reveal a holographic breast, both a positive and a concave negative breast, and there is a, an image that the surrogate, that is a stand-in for a physical being, is looking at. For this project we uh, coated 8x10 plates with a dichromated emulsion which consisted of ammonium dichromate and uh, gelatin, mixed in water of course to form a solution. We coated the plates and allowed them to cure overnight. Then we used a fairly thin and hard emulsion to get uh, a nice clean noise free uh, image. The holographic body in this piece was referring to the idea of a virtual body, something akin to what would happen in virtual reality where the virtual body of the person would seem to replace the physical body. The holographic image at one point can appear on one side of the plate to be a virtual image receding in this case behind the plate and in the other configuration that is its flip side it appears to project out. The hologram, rather than other modes of depiction, is ideally suited for showing the capacity of an image to exist in volume on both sides of the plate, depending on the illumination circumstance. So in this particular piece we have this pair acting as ether veins in a historical pun in reference to the existence of ether in the measurement of light by Michael Michelson Morley in the early 1900s. This piece is entitled Spice Cabinet. It was created in the early 80s and it features a dollhouse in one panel and a hologram of a bone. The bone that I used is a pelican breastbone. form a kind of a collection, a collection of condoms. This piece is entitled Field. It features ribbon-like contour patterns that are created interferometrically by stressing two points on a stainless steel plate. These contour patterns, the result of an interferogram, trace the various disturbances in space in a three-dimensional form. This piece was created in 1983 in Toronto at Fringe Research.